Russian troops again used drones and cruise missiles to hit targets throughout Ukraine. Ammunition depots and aviation equipment at the Ozern Air Base were hit near Zitomir. In Kamelnitsky region, missiles also hit the airfield territory near Starokostyantiniv. According to local authorities, the runway was damaged and at least five aircraft were destroyed. A series of explosions sounded in Kiev. Local residents reported falling debris in several districts of the capital. At Giuliani Airport, one of the drones fell near the Patriot Air Defense missile launcher. Ukrainian units continue to strike at the border territories of Belgorod region. Shebekino and nearby settlements came under fire again. One person was killed and four others were wounded. A tense situation persists near Kremina. The parties are engaged in positional battles and mutual reconnaissance. Russian troops strike at the supply lines of the AFU units, destroying, among other things, bridges used by the enemy. Ukrainian units continue to fire at settlements of the Donetsk agglomeration. Residential buildings and infrastructure facilities in Horlivka came under enemy fire again. One person was killed. Russian troops continue to strike at the AFU units entrenched in Vuladar. The crews of the Russian Aerospace Forces regularly drop Fab 500 aviation munitions on enemy positions, burying them to the ground. Ukrainian units do not stop shelling settlements on the left bank of the Dnipro River. The most massive strikes are coming to the Novokokovska City Council. Over the past two days, one person was killed there, two more were wounded. Russian troops used drones to destroy objects on the territory of Odessa. The port infrastructure was also hit. A large fire broke out at the site of one of the strikes.